Hey guys, had a question from a uh, subscriber on this little beauty. Um, question came from EJLACO EJLACOP058. I'm sorry if I pronounced if I didn't say that right or whatever. I didn't even try to pronounce it. But anyways, you asked about channel switching. Um, okay. On this thing, if you're talking patch switching, you can only have four up at a time. Because if you look really closely here, to go up, you have to hold A and B. To go down, you have to hold B and C. Really stupid design aspect, I must say, by line six. But that's it. Um, sounds pretty good. Not too bad. Um, you have three modes, which green is... Um, patches patch mode red is yeah red's uh your stomp boxes and your preamp and stuff so if you want to just run it in direct um you can it's really pretty simple or no sorry red is uh red is the uh, looper which i'm not a big looper fan they kind of annoy me and then um, orange is the stomp boxes. And as you can see, there's your preamp. There is your overdrive. There is your play and stop, which is reverb, I think. Oh, no, it is delay and echo. And then I'm not sure what this last one is. I can't remember. It's been a while since I played through it. But anyways, um, what I said in the comment, um, if, if it didn't make any sense, I'm going to explain it right now. Um, this thing is a preamp. It's a preamp modeler, which you know, not insulting your intelligence. Just want to say one thing about these. If you're going to plug them through something like that, or that, or big stack or whatever, first thing to check for is on the back you should have an effects loop. If you're going to run it through something like that, I suggest running it with the four cable method. Um, I'm not real fond on... No, I'm not real familiar with what that is. I mean, I, it doesn't bother me to run like that, but, I mean, it's a lot of cables and a lot of extra work. Um, and what that does is if you're just using effects, you still get your, your actual preamp of your amp, but if you're running just a preamp effect from the pod, it goes into the power amp and into the speakers, and that's all you get. What happens with a lot of these things that people don't realize is they EQ their amp, they're like this one, or this one. They EQ it. Uh, sorry, I'm making you guys sick. They EQ it in, and then they say they plug this into it, and then it doesn't sound either one of them don't sound like they did by themselves what that is is you're doing you're kind of double EQing that's where your digital sound comes from because you've got this is EQ going into the the uh, amps EQ that's why if you see uh, people like David Wallerman playing with something like this he uses an atomic reactor which is just a power amp and a speaker um, so that's, that's your qu question answered. If this didn't answer it, uh, ask it again. Shoot me a video. Videos are just easier to understand. Because sometimes you say something in the text and it can mean multiple things. Um, as for videos, guys, I will be taking a hiatus for a little while because stupid me scheduled a bunch of hard classes in college. Sorry about that, but that's life. So I'll be back either periodically through the semester semester ends and next week has been five weeks so after next week we'll have or next week included we'll have 11 weeks and um then i'll be periodically back and forth maybe back through spring break i can't remember when spring break is and might be back for um 
be back for spring break and then I'll probably be back in the summer. I might be back throughout the uh, semester. But until next time guys, as always, peace. And uh, please comment, subscribe, and leave like. Whatever you, whatever you think the video deserves, you leave it. And if you uh, actually know me from somewhere, I'm sorry I'm a horrible cameraman. If you actually know me from somewhere, leave a comment and uh, tell me on Facebook. If you've got me on Facebook, what you think of the video. Um, I'll take anything, any uh, advice you guys can give me. Talk to you guys later. Peace again. See ya.